Baker is here. Yeah, a really good series indeed. I think it's going to be that. And um, hopefully if you have multiple and not feeling too bad, it's a good thing they have another chance in this lower bracket. That's how it works. You go down from the upper bracket, you have another chance in the lower bracket. But uh, nonetheless, we are going to have to win two best of sevens against Arena Tribe uh, to actually hold that trophy up. And I do think Weeaboos are looking hot so far. They've done a really good job in the bracket so far. Really excited for them. And um, if you have multiple, just not able to have an answer for Arena Tribe last game. Uh, hopefully, hopefully they'll have some answers now. Hopefully they reset themselves. It, it can be difficult going from game to game to game. Um, not much time for you to to just shrug off a loss like that. A 3-0 is difficult when you are in the finals. But if we can start looking at these team stats and compare these two, there is more of a difference with these two teams than we just had in Fiat Multipla and Arena Tribe, who on paper looked about the same. It is not the same case here. We do have 10 losses more, or 10 losses, uh, yeah, I guess we we was lost 10 more <clears throat> games than Fiat Multipla. Um, which is somewhat substantial. It's not huge, um, but there are some other uh, other stats here that would make a difference. What are you seeing? Well, I mean, if we have a look at the... Uh, I mean, straight away, obviously, you've got the wins to losses as the first place to look. Obviously, Fiat Multiplier up uh, 10 wins as opposed to their opponents uh, with l less losses to the 10, less losses, of course, so... Uh, much more on top of their game if you just look at that stat alone. But then if you have a look at the goals for and against, uh, Weeaboos actually have more goals uh, for and against them uh, compared to their opponents. So maybe they're playing a little bit more of an aggressive uh, game for that to sort of happen, and it'll be interesting to see. But then you have a look at the saves as well, and again, they're much higher in saves. So just by those stats alone, uh, I would, I you know, I'm... Again, the sense that Weeaboos, they play a much more faster game. So uh, it'd be interesting to see how they stack against uh, this Fiat Multipla team. Yeah, I, I would say the same thing. They're just faster around the pitch, which I feel like Fiat had a hard time against Arena with Laser playing so much faster than the whole pitch by himself. Um, yeah, a lot of saves coming out for Weeaboos, but a lot of goals for as well. So it's very interesting to see those two stats. We'll have to see if the Weeboos have a have some gaps in their rotations that Fiat Multipla can can kind of pinpoint on and, and get an offense going because we didn't see much of an offense from them last series. And they do know that any any both these teams know that a loss means you are out, you don't have another chance. Weeboos knowing that from game one and playing through this losers bracket. If we can take a look over at player stats now. Some really, really big stats here, you know. Punk for Kazuku. I'm, I'm honestly a lot of these names for Weeboos I've never seen. Um, no offense, uh, <laughs> but um, you know, 87 goals for Punk in 80 games is massive. That is a really, really good job on his part, and with the most saves as well. So Punk looking to be the star of that Kazuku side. But all those players showing some decent stats. How do you think these two teams match up against each other with these player stats? And considering uh, Weeaboos have more saves, actually seeing the saves from uh, Fiat Multiplayer uh, as well, they've got quite a lot, obviously, across, spread across the board. Anschlo being the biggest one for saves with 92, which is quite a lot of saves. Obviously, it doesn't compare to Punk and Geordie's 121 and 100, but both teams having some good stats, as you said over there yeah and as we talk about the stats we're going to actually see them in action we're going to get the game going really good kickoff to start and as we're going to keep on moving through these finals we are at the lower finals now boys this is the one before the upper finals before the big shebang and both these teams coming out very fast kinetic oh. Going to take it off to the side. Going to try to get it off to the center here. That looks like they're going to try to get some offense going right off the start from Fiat Multipla. Going to have to be careful on those rotations. That is what was killing them against Arena Tribe. And a double commit coming out for Weeaboos. Um, 
Punk, it, that star of that team, going to have to make something happen for him. No, Kanatuk trying to get this one into the middle. So you go, oh, but Punk, good awareness to get that one down. And, well, you, you mentioned the rotation from Thea being a bit over-aggressive and they left their net completely open. Unfortunately for uh, the Weeaboos, they're just not able to convert and they allow them to get back on to the offense once again. Kinetic with a bit of a back pass here. Sakuna and the touch here. Got a chance for a shot, not quite able to dunk it through. A good bump in the goal, but unluckily the 50 was not quite what he needed. And a, well, a good goal scoring opportunity. Fiat have had quite a lot of the pressure so far. And Weeboos have had not that much of a look at the blue net. So I think if Fiat keep this one up, they might be able to. They might be able to bring a bit more of an aggressive game to their opponents. Yeah, Fiat definitely looking like the aggressor at this point. Kinetic trying to get another one in the middle. Sakuna trying not to overcommit. I think that's been their problem so far on those rotations. Just third man pushing up too hard. And, and they just need to make sure they're staying back and not getting a ball popped over their head. Doing a good job of keeping the pressure right now. As Weeboos really need to try to get something going. They seem like... They've been on defense. It's been in that orange half all game, but they have had some chances with an open net being because of that Fiat multiples rotations as third man. Kinetic has a chance here. Didn't oversleep is Anschlo for all the fans out there. That is Anschlo the man. And they almost linked up there to get a nice goal at two and a half minutes. We still have half the game to go. Oh, half the game to go, and Fia are still on the offense. They've had a good look at the net, and speaking of a good look of the net, they're going to get an even closer look with that ball. Find its way into the back of the net of the backboard pass from Sarkuna. No one on the backboard from Weeaboos to defend that one, and it's a pretty easy shot for, uh, was it Anschlo that you said that one was? Yeah, Anschlo to put into the back of the net. Yeah, Anschlo putting one in quick right at half the game, you know, but it was a pretty even even shot for him. He might have another chance. It just goes straight down. Kinetic is able to get it in. Angelo is showing up big at the half game mark. Two goals going for Fiat Multiple. That was a really good attempt on that double tap. And it was a, a very, very close attempt on that save. But ultimately, that ball just gets squeezed through just under that crossbar. And Fiat find themselves with a two goal lead, which I'm not surprised of, to be honest, with how offensive they've played so far, how aggressive they've been against their opponents. And they haven't really given Weeaboos any chance at all to look at their net besides this little chance that we're seeing here. But even now, even though they're on offense, they're not really having a good look at the middle of the net. They're not being able to put any shots on target. And just like that, Fiat find his way downfield and Anschlo is going to put another one into the back of the net and make it 3-0. Yeah, Fiat multiple showing dominance right now in this first game. Got to ask, where was the defensive rotation? It took forever for somebody to help out. It was a 3v1 for a good 10 seconds there. Not able to get the save. Fiat Multiple coming out big so far. Three up in the first game. Uh, Weeaboos now with a chance to look at the opponent's net. Punk's going to keep this one alive. It floats a little bit high and back there. Ashley's going to be able to get a touch. Trying to link up with Kinetic now. Kinetic taking control on the sidewall. Getting a a bit of a pinch into the midfield, but taken out. And speaking of taken out, a good demo by Sarkunia in the corner to keep a little bit of pressure. Just like that, Weeaboos just they just put straight back on the back foot. And it's really impressive, actually, to see Fiat keep this much pressure. I definitely, Especially looking at those stats before, I would not have pictured this much pressure coming out from a team with, you know, a little bit, a little bit less uh, stats than their opponents. But they've definitely done a really good job here. And they're definitely showing us why that the number two team coming into this. Yeah, showing why they're number two for sure. And it just doesn't seem like Weeaboos is able to handle the speed and aggression of Fiat Multiple right now. They're not having many passing plays. When they do, it just seems awkward. They're not able to find the net with it and st sitting the whole time in their own half. Fiat Multiple just continuous pressure. 40 seconds left and, you know, anything can happen in Rocket League. But with 30 seconds going on now, it's going to be really difficult for Weeaboos to finish this one out with at least an overtime. And do you think the, the whole entire series is going to look like this? What do you think Weeaboos need to do to get back into this one? 
Uh, I definitely think Weeaboos need to... They need to be tightening up that defensive rotation. They need to be taking a, a bit more time on their clears because right now they're just... I, th I feel like they're just handing over possession when they do get the touches. They haven't really got much... Uh, much direction when they hit the ball. They're just hitting the ball for the sake of hitting the ball for most of the time, which is what's which is what's allowing Fiat to keep most of the pressure on them. I think the moment they start taking the time, start looking for these passes and having a little bit more uh, more direction with where they want to go with the ball, then they might start to come out on top. But Fiat Multiplier are going to take game number one, completely shutting them out with a 3-0 game. A very nice start in this best of five for the team in blue. Very nice start indeed. Ten shots coming out from Fiat Multipla as opposed to the three from Weeboos. And I think that really goes to show of the game that we just saw because Fiat Multipla really, really had all the aggression, all, uh, I would say, boost management. They they had the aggression going and they really just put it to Weeboos on that first game. Uh, hopefully Weeboos can kind of wake up and get some momentum back on their side. They're going to have to come out quick next game to at least get a goal or two and at least make you feel better about playing out the games. Because if it, if we see more games coming out like that for the Fiat multiple side, this one might be a 3-0 pretty quickly. Absolutely. I'd, I'd like to say it's just first game jitters. I always say when, the, when first games are dominant on one side, I always like to think it is just first game jitters. And, you know, they're just getting that first game out of the way, feeling their opponent, seeing what their opponents are capable of. They just unfortunately let them feel uh, out their, their net just a little bit too much. And that's definitely something that they've got to look at improving for this game and go forward into the series. But it, it's a new game, new team. Who dis? Yeah, that's true. And Weeboots has most certainly shown that they deserve to be in this position coming through with that Cinderella story if they can make it through another one as we get a really decent start from the Weeboos. They're throwing out a little bit more aggression now, and I think hopefully it is just that first game nerves and just try to get something going for them, get some link up plays, and just keep the rotations that they're obviously desperately needing against this Fiat multiple side. Well, Fiat looking a bit empty on the back there, but still Weeboos just not willing to make that risk to go forward. And speaking of risks, they make a bit too much of a risk there, just after I mention it. And Angelo is going to find the open net. No one's back yet. Pong can't get back quick enough. The third man come in just a little bit too heavy. And just like that, Fiat get themselves another goal. And they're still, still keeping the pressure on their opponents coming into this one. Yeah, still keeping the pressure. And there was no way for Pong to get back on that side. But he might just slot one in here. I think he was going for a flip reset. Nonetheless, it goes in and great shot. They at least tie it up. And that is the first goal of the series for the Weibo side. Well, they got to start somewhere. And you know what? They've started now. So maybe now that they've started scoring, the floodgates will open and they'll be able to get a few more goals and maybe keep a little bit more of a closer game, a closer series to their opponents. Uh, but they're not going to be able to do that if they get a demo. The double demo coming out. Kinetic gets it off the backboard. Angelo can't quite get it in the back of the net. George spawns and gets the save just in time. And it keeps his team from going a goal down once again. And now it's Punk. Going to look for a ground pinch, actually. Misses out on the touch. I think if he got that touch, definitely would have been a goal there. So a little bit of an opportunity missed out on. Angelo sends Sarkuna up. Sarkuna can't put it in the back of the net. And that's unfortunate for Fiat. Because that definitely looked like it was, it should have been a goal. Uh, I think so as well. Should have been a goal for sure. And Weebu's really struggling on defense right now. They just look so scared every time they're in net. Double commits coming out. Their third man not where they need to be. And I, they're just really struggling on defense. And their offense isn't looking so great as well. Hopefully Weebu's getting a little bit more momentum, able to start making some things happen and play like we know they can. Oh, Kinetic now, trying to make things happen. Punk does get a save, gets it cleared out. Epic Ninja, he's going to go for the for the flick here. Didn't quite get the flick, and that made one play go over him, but Angelo stays calm, stays low, and now George's looking to link up with Punk, but sent it a bit too far to one side and not able to make the contact. And now Sarkuna coming in again with a shot. That one, unfortunately, hitting Punk, but he's going to go up to this ball, make sure he recovers it. 
Sakuna looking for a, a demo there, not quite able to make contact, but it's not going to matter, his Epic Ninja gets the clear all the way down, Sakuna there with the pressure, he's going to go for the double tap off the backboard, gets the touch, gets the goal, 2-1, Fiat are back in the lead. Yeah, half the game left, and really good double touch from Sakuna, he saw it the whole way, George trying to get there, just from the angle of his car, he was only going to be able to put that back in front of his net, very unfortunate. And Fiat Multiple going 2-1 up. Half the game left, though. We'll see if the Weeboos can bring something back here. We know they can score. They've done it before. Punk able to clear this. It's very close. Ancel having to get that touch. That was most certainly very scary. Kinetic just gets a missed touch here, though. It's back in front of their goal. Ancel again. Weeboos looking very strong here. As There's a passing play to George. George to Epic Ninja. And the third's just not able to take the shot. George... Gonna have to get a touch here. Good job. Kinetic gets a touch, gets a shot. Oh my goodness, what a save coming up from the Weeboos. Uh, the defense cleaned it up just a little bit. And now they're looking a little bit, a little bit more secure on that defense. And almost resorting to goal. Punk just missing out. And Epic Ninja hitting the post as well. That is so unfortunate. I definitely feel like, I mean, if I feel like it, I'm sure the team, the Weeboos, will feel like they've been scanned out of goal there. Two clear-cut opportunities missed out on, and that is unfortunate. But you know, they've, still, they've still got the pressure up. Another chance there off the backboard again. George getting the bump there. Angelo getting a demo, but he's not able to collect the ball at the same time. And Punk, a little bit of a weird touch, sends it backwards, but Epic Ninja's there in support. It's bumped away. George missing out on the ball again. Punk getting the touch. It's going to go off the backboard, but Kinetic will get the clear out. So going to go for the follow. Missing out on it. A couple of whiffs coming out from Fiat. And George has a chance but sends it wide again. And Weeaboos just can't seem to hit their mark. They've had a few clear-cut chances now in the past minute. And they're just not able to put them on target. And I definitely think, it, you know, if they if they want to take this series to Fiat, they, they really can't be missing out on those opportunities. No, a few open open nets just whiffed right out, you know, right, right oh. in front of the net. And it's very unfortunate as this goes in with Angelo scoring it just very unlucky there and Weeboos you're right there's no way that they're going to be able to win this when they're just not putting in those opportunities you know the amount of times they've hit that post is unfortunate and then they get just scored on straight away the moment Fear have a line of attack to counter they get it straight away and you know it, it's it's hard to it's hard to watch Weeboos struggle so hard to get a goal and you know, I can't imagine what's going through their mind right now. You know, they've got to try and keep the mentality up because, you know, a series isn't over until a series is over. There is always reverse sweep potential. And that's what they're going to have to shock it up to. As right now, 20 seconds left. I'm not going to, I doubt we'll see two goals from Weeaboos in that time if we didn't see goals already from their opportunities. And even then, they just can't get them around the defenders, even when the defenders are there and looking a little bit awkward. and. Oh, in the last few seconds, they have a chance. The George again, just missing out on the mark. And Punk, can he put this one in? He can, but he, it's too little, too late. Fiat have still taken this game. Three to two, zero second goal from Punk. Maybe a little bit of a momentum shifter going into game three, but that's all they can hope for at this point. It's so unfortunate for Weeboos as well, because it just I think there was three or four very, very... Uh, open, clear chances that they just put off the post. And that's that's really hard on your psyche. When you're in a best of five and you don't seem to be able to score, you know you have the chance. It weighs on you. And hopefully Weeboos realize that they do have the chances. They had 10 shots on goal compared to 11 for Fiat Multiple. They're in this chance-wise. They just have to find a way to get it into the net. The only, I think, actually looking at the stats, the only stat between the two teams that is not identical is the goals. They they were missing one goal off the off the stat, and well, besides the shots, of, of course, as well, because both teams had four saves, two assists as well. So, you know, if you look at the stats, it's an even game. But if you actually look at them playing, Fiat Multiplayer really, really have Weeaboo's number down. I think so as well. I think the big difference between these two teams is the consistency. Fiat Multiplayer just that much more consistent on their touches, on their passes, on the rotations. And they're looking like a very solid team. But hopefully Weeboo's able to make something happen here. This could be done and dusted after this game. This is match point. 
third game. Hopefully we see something from Weeboos here. If Weeboos, if Weeboos are going to step it up at any point, this it's it's this game now. They, if they can step it up here, they'll have momentum going into the next game if they can pull this one through. But they really need to start pulling their weight as they can't allow Fiat to run circles around them when they're on match point. They need to, they need to make the most of those opportunities. They need to score them. They also need to create them and keep Fiat in their own half because the moment Fiat find their way out. They score pretty easily and pretty quickly. Yeah, very true. And I have noticed that Weeboos are doing a little bit better of trying to think more about their touches and not just hit a ball because they can. Not like that first game that we saw. They have been consistently getting better through the series, I would say. Hopefully this is the game where they uh, bring it all out. Well, Fiat, at the moment, on the pressure, they can't make anything happen. George looking for Punk. A little bit of a pass play there. Not quite able to find its way round the defender and Kinetic. Going to touch through the air. Finds its way past two defenders. Punk now. A little bit of an awkward touch. Angelo can't get a touch. But Sarkuda with a shot sends it just a little bit wide. Epic Ninja will get the clear out. George jumping for that one as well. Sarkuda and Punk caught together on that ball. George trying to get this one round. Trying to set it up into the middle. Epic Ninja is going to be there in support. Maybe a drop down. There's a pre-jump from Punk. Little bit of risk, high risk, high reward, but they're not rewarded with it. And Kinetic and Sokunu, a little bit of a double commit there. It's going to leave Angelo in the back on his own. George now with a chance. Oh, he's looking for a pass middle, I think, but I don't think he knew his teammate was too far back. And that's exactly one thing that I want to see Weeaboo's change. I want them to see them support each other's play, but actually Punk is going to find the first goal. And maybe this is the start that they need. Maybe this is the kick to guard that Weeaboo's need. Yeah, most certainly. Epic Ninja with some epic speed there. Just ninja ninja-ing his way up to the ceiling and able to drop it down for Punk there, who's also there with the speed. So nice job from Weeboos. Might be a quick answer, though, from a Fiat Multipla here. Oh, George gets a big clear here. He might be able to center this one down. No one's there. Punk might get a try, and he gets a shot on really good centering and a really good <laughs> shot. Nice job from George there with that centering play. Yeah, we're starting to see a little bit more life breathed in uh, to Weeaboos. And you know what? That could just be down to, you know what? We're on, we're on, we're against match point. It's all or nothing. We've got nothing to lose but everything to gain. Let's just make the risks, go for the plays. And you know what? If that's their way of thinking about it, then they're set for a reverse sweep. But they need to keep the pressure up. They need to keep applying it. Yeah, and they are looking better for sure. A lot more passing plays coming out. A lot of more setups and they're... Their touches just seem to be better, but no one's back right now. Angelo does have a touch, and Kinetic tries to finish it off, not quite able to. Punk going to have to just put this one off to the side. It seems Sakuna and Kinetic just hitting each other in midfield. It's going to be awkward now for Angelo. He's going to have to get the touch. Sakuna, big clear. Angelo might get a double touch here. Tries, but Epic Ninja's there on the backboard. Good backboard defense there. Oh, Kanata looking for something a little bit spicy there with a double tap, and Sarkuna keeps it alive, but Punk is the one to clear it out. Angelo passing to the middle, Sarkuna wisely waiting back. And take this one to his own corner, collect the boost, and maybe make a play off the wall. Can't quite get it round the midfield defence there as Punk gets this one into the corner. Looking a little bit awkward there, and Kanata's going to pick this one up. Gets a nice fake around one, and now Angelo going for the demo play, both of them on it, but... George playing that very, very well. Very patient in the back. Avoids the demo and gets the save. Very hard situations to get yourself out of. And he's done a really good job of doing that. So they've definitely improved there. But there's a pass play from Fiat. And Angelo is going to put that one away. Really nice infield pass from Sykuna as well. And a good forward pass from Kinetic. A free man to get the first goal for Fiat. Yeah, really good chemistry coming out there from Fiat. You can tell these guys play together all the time. And chemistry is what's going to take you to the finals and what's going to win it for you at the end of the day. All players, all these players are decent players for sure. It's just who has the better chemistry to make things happen when it matters. And right now we have Weeboos. They almost take a, take a goal there. All three of them in net, nobody going for the ball. That was very interesting. Yeah, I think they were just a bit confused because one uh, one person got bumped and then two of them were in the same spot. I think they were just trying their best not to bump each other, but oh, oh yeah, that's an unfortunate one to concede. Daikuna just gifted a goal. I think that's the easiest one that Fiat are going to get all series. 
Jords and Punk just a little bit too close to each other. And Kinetic trying to steal that one at the end, but it don't matter because it was already in Sarkuna getting credit for that one. Two all. Fear not allowing Weeaboos to, to get a game easily. Yeah, and I, it's very unfortunate. It seems like the Weeaboos breaking down a little bit. Hopefully they can stay their pace in this game. They've been looking so strong in this third game. Hopefully they can bring one out here and just keep the, the series going. As Epic Ninja almost gets a shot there, George's able to finish it off. And they continue the dominance so far in this third game. I would say that Weeboos has been showing up for this third game. Absolutely. They have looked better in this one game than they have in the past two games. And it, it does show with the scoreboard. They keep, they're managing to get leads here and there. They just need to be able to keep a hold of it and keep Fiat on the back foot. But it doesn't look like they're going to. Oh, a bit of a whiff from both the defender and the attacker there. Which could have been the equaliser once again, but it's not. And now Punk. Gonna try and get this one forward. They're still trying to extend. Trying to get Link up for the passes, but Sarkuna missing out on that pass there. Kinetic was ready and waiting for that touch mid, but it never came. I think if it did, that would have definitely been a goal for Fiat. As they were definitely ready for that one. And Kinetic trying to make things happen. Sarkuna's there. Kinetic trying to get a pass in. This is looking really awkward for Weeaboos and... I think if Fiat keep pressing, it could end up in a goal, and it is. Anschlo finds his way in between the two defenders to take the equaliser with 14 seconds left. Weeaboos have still got to fight for this one. Yeah, they certainly have to fight, and Anschlo is wanting to end this one right where it started. He doesn't want to go to a fourth game. All coming <clears> down to this 15 seconds. We do have an overtime if nobody scores. Weeboo's going to have to try to keep things together. They've done such a good job at the beginning of this game. They do have a chance now. 2v1, going to go for the bump play. This will be up for George if he can put it straight down. He gets it off the backboard, able to get a touch. Punk just has to backflip for it. Wasn't quite ready for it. Epic Ninja is up, going for a double touch. They're doing a good job here, Weeboo's. Kinetic able to get the clear. It's just going to go straight down. We do have overtime. Match point all comes down to who scores next. Well, it started out with a good kickoff for Weeaboos. Unfortunately, George's not quite able to get the touch he needs. And oh, it's do it really is do or die at this point for Weeaboos. That could have been the end there. Angelo just missing out on that pre flip. Would have been a very nice goal and a very fitting way for them to take the series, but they do not. And now, just like that, Punk getting them on to, getting his team onto offense. A bit of a double commit there ends in a team pinch. Kinetic still following this one. George trying to get on the end of it. Gets it round two. Now Punk, can he get it round the third? No, Sarkuna playing very patiently in the back. Getting a fake round one. Sarkuna is got some really, really clever plays and Kinetics just not quite able to finish it. Anslow with another fake of his own. Fear really tested Weeaboos coming into this one. Uh, Weeaboos just need to make sure they don't give in to this pressure. They need to get this ball clear. Otherwise, they're going to really struggle in this overtime. Oh, and this might just do it as it, it was an open net and Sakuna hits it away from Anschlo. That would have just finished this series done and dusted. Now we do have a uh, counter attack coming out. Epic Ninja not quite able to get the touch. So close from Fiat there, just able to end this. And they just, uh, what in the world? Well, that's an unfortunate one. If, if they, if uh, we have just come back and reverse sweep now, Sarkuna will be looking back at that moment and you're just thinking, you know, the series would have been over had I not touched that ball. I don't think he meant to, but I don't. I also don't think he was properly paying attention. I think he thought the game was going to be done and dusted, but he just needed to stay out the way and he didn't. Uh, Fear still with a chance here. He's going to fall over to Kinetic, who's got plenty of boost to work with. He's actually going to try and use this boost. Maybe a double tap opportunity, but Ponk gets up just in time to get the clear. And now An Anschlo with the shot, sends it a little bit wide. Epic Ninja there to cover for it anyway. And then George and Punk both there for the clear. Good demo in the midfield. This could be it. Can Sarkuni get back in defending time? He can. What a save. Pinches it out off of that crossbar. And both teams now have had clear-cut opportunities to take the series. And again, another one there. Kinetic just missing out. Oh, man, so unlucky for that Fiat multiple side. But they've had all the pressure, I would say, in this overtime again. Sakuna going for a double touch. He's not quite able to get the double touch, but oh. Anslow finishes it. 
We do have Fiat Multiplo winning the series 3-0. Clean sweep, but it's the same clean sweep that just happened to them. They are going to go and face Arena Tribe again in the finals. They are going to have to win two best of sevens to get that trophy. Going to be a tough road for Fiat Multiplo, but a good job from the Weeboos. You have to say, getting this far in the loser's bracket and Fiat Multiplo just able to to just dominate, I would say. They they really did dominate in this game, um, throwing out so much pressure against the Weeboos side. 12 shots for Fiat Multipla against the nine for Weeboos. It's just really unlucky. I feel like if Weeboos would have, would have been able to put the ball away with the chances that they had, this could have been a different story. Absolutely, there could have been a different series. Weeboos definitely showed us in that last game that they had what it takes the entire time to take a close game to Fiat Multipla, uh, they just lack that little bit of consistency, as you mentioned. And also, they don't have a player like Anschlo on their team. Eight shots from Anschlo in that last game alone and three goals as well. Anschlo definitely stepped up during this series for his team. And I definitely think he was a troublemaker for Weeaboos. And unfortunately, they just couldn't quite keep him away from the ball long enough to get themselves a good enough lead to hold on to. Yeah, Angelo coming out big for sure. And this will give a lot of momentum back into Fiat Multipla. They they just went against Arena Tribe, did lose the series 3-0, but it helps win you 3-0 the, the team right after that. So maybe coming into that game a little bit more cautious, a little bit smarter, but certainly not down and feeling bad about it. They should feel good about this win and feel good about just getting into the finals by themselves. It's going to be still a long road for them. Many tough games to be played coming up ahead. And guys, don't go anywhere. We have huge, huge news coming out tonight. Super excited for RSC as a whole and about you know the, the things that are going to be getting implemented the things to come are going to be massive. So I hope everybody's watching these finals. It will be the minor finals coming up. Not too far away. We still have half an hour. This one was kind of quick. Uh, that will happen when you get 3-0 sweeps. But, you know, it was, it was a well-fought victory for Fiat. And they will be happy with that one. Going into the finals for a rematch against uh, their opponents in the grand final. So all, all the best. For them going forward into that one, if they play like that in that finals, I'm sure it will be a much closer series. So stay tuned, guys. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you guys soon. Half an hour for the minor finals. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 